thank you guys for joining my channel. Um, I don't know why I would talk like that. But welcome back to my channel, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. <sighs> Hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Um, on today's video, uh, I am going to be talking about what not to add to social media, um, about your relationship. And honestly, you guys, I have been pushing this video back so many times that, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, I was going to do it last month, but then I'm like... I was barely posting, and yeah, which was October. It's November now, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do it. And then I, it was back again, and I had it pushed. Uh, I was going to put it out around my birthday time, but I was kind of depressed because, okay, that's a whole nother story. And then August came, and then school started back, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put this video out. But then I just stopped posting. It's <laughs> like, I just stopped posting. So then um, September came, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to start back recording. So I started recording, but I recorded every other topic except for this one. And I had a bunch of issues to work out, so it's like, I'm going to post it in October. October, I just stopped posting. So, it's like, girl, get it together. So, it's now November. Probably the first, second week of November that I am recording this. So, if you are watching this in present time, just know it was previously recorded. Okay? And I don't know. But now I have all of my videos planned up until um December of next year. And, uh, no, to January of 2023. And, um, uh, let's just hope I stick to that schedule. Because if I forget to put out a video or I forget to record that video, then I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? Um, I am going to throw a couple of vlogs in. I need to start vlogging for you guys and not just doing topic videos because I kind of sort of like vlogging. Um, I also need to do new hauls for you guys. Um, and I am going grocery shopping and then I'm going uh, to uh, do a lot. I got a lot planned. I just need to stick to it, okay? So, the first thing that I'm going to bring up about adding social media, adding things to social media about your relationship. When it comes to relationships for me, I am not so quick to let people into my relationship when it comes to social media. Um, I want to say every other relationship I done been in, I really don't post like things on social media about my relationship. If you go by my page on Facebook or Instagram... One day I'm single, next day I'm in a relationship, next day I'm married, next day I be want to cut a bitch. But, uh, yeah, don't go by my social media page to determine if I'm single or not. Because I read, like, memes and other posts, and I'm like, I agree with that. So I'm going to repost it, and I could be in the best relationship ever, but if you read my Facebook or my Instagram and it used to be my Twitter, but I don't really mess with Twitter like that no more. It's like, girl, are you single or not? <laughs> so, don't go about it. So, I always had in my mind that before I, per before I post any personal information, and that's one key fact that I want to give you guys. And I know most of you guys going to say, girl, you're not married, blah, blah, blah. But... If it comes to, like, personal information about my partner, I am not going to post it without their permission. Just like when I do story times on my channel, I am not going to post their name, where they're from, all of this stuff, what we met at. None of that will be online without them knowing. Um, The boy that I had uh, snuck in my room 
he told me I could use his name and all this stuff and all this information about him. But I didn't do it because this was my choice. So, um, yeah, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go watch it. Um, another thing that I hate when people do when they get in a fight with their partner, they, they quick to run the social media. I'm not going to criticize my partner on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, with MySpace, none of that, okay? Um, because I feel like my, 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 the fights and the arguments that we have are private. I even don't want my family members in my, in my arguments and fights. So, when it comes to social media, I still choose my battles of what I want to put out. And I never, I don't, I never put out the argument that I have with my partner. And I hate when people do that. And I got a whole story time on that. And I've been deciding if I want to put that story time out or not. And now I really don't care. I'm going to put it out anyways. But, um, I was back in the day I was, when it happened, I was like, I'm going to put this story time out because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that wants that business spread it out around the universe. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm going to be sure to put that video out for you guys when I ever sit down because I am finna start back work. So, I really got to come up with a schedule to like when I'm going to record, when I'm going to edit because me uploading the video... I know when I'm going to upload the video, okay? I just need, like, time to edit videos and time to upload videos. So, I mean, record videos. So, yeah. But it's never good to criticize your partner during an argument. And when I say criticize, you go on social media, well, this bitch did it, did it, did it. And just to make yourself feel better about the argument or make you feel like you won something. Like, that's not necessary. Um... Another thing I want to bring up, I know we love taking pictures with the family, but I also feel like without your partner permission, you shouldn't upload a video or a selfie with y'all kissing on it. Because one minute y'all kissing, then the next minute y'all arguing, then the next minute, like, they leave a lot of room for people to judge our relationship. So, just be mindful of that. If you don't have conversation with your partner about what you finna upload, if it's if it's going to include them in it, then you shouldn't post it. Just just be up front. Like, I'm going to post this. Do you mind? Um, Another thing that I feel like most of us shouldn't post, and you see it a lot on Valentine's Day, is expensive gifts. And I mean, like, I say some stuff is okay, but the expensive gifts, like you showing off that your significant other bought you underwear, like, that's just for you and what's happening in your bedroom. Don't nobody want to come in your bedroom with you and your man or you and your other woman. Like, some stuff you shouldn't want to provide on social media, especially social media. Because social media will run that, like, crazy. Like, you give an open door to people to start judging your relationship, for one. And then, for two, you give, like, the open door to, like, A... Our relationship is okay, but we still have problems. And then you got other single females that's watching it. So you got to be mindful of what you do. Um, Speaking of behind closed doors in the bedrooms, I feel like sexual pictures that were supposed to stay between you and your partner, keep it between you and your partner. Because as soon as you, you let out one of those pictures, and I did have... Uh, a whole porn hub story time about how me and my um significant other broke up back in the day and i'm thinking about if i want to i might link it below i might not because it's a part one to three to get to the porn hub story but anyways i just feel like this between you and your partner um i feel like you shouldn't try to, like, post pictures, period, when it comes to that. Um, I know sometimes, and I can't I can admit to this, sometimes we, we make sexual videos with our significant other. I can't admit to that. 
But I also feel like that video should stay between you and your partner. But I also feel like if you and your partner is not going to be long term, then a video shouldn't even be thought about. Because when I leave, that video is leaving with me. Um, if we're on bad terms, when I pack up, I'm going to pack that video with me. Like, you don't know what people do when they get mad and in their feelings or they want to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They want to take revenge on you. Like, don't even think about it. Um, another thing that I hate, I really, really can't stand. And I'm not just going to say on social media. I'm going to say it like period. What people boast about things they're going to do. And I say that because you never know. Because sometimes your partner is not really with the boasting or the bragging about what they're going to do today. Their plans. Like that. Sometimes they make your partner feel uncomfortable. And I have been in a situation where I felt like my partner at the time was just bragging about everything. The money he made. uh, The job he had. Um, the house he had, the car he had, and then within a matter of two weeks, everything that he had went down the drain. And then the boasting, it stopped. And then he started complaining more. Like, God give you things, but you got to always think about, God can take that stuff away from you. If he see that you big-headed, high-headed, and you're not humble enough to enjoy the things that he give you, oh, he will be humbly enough to take it away from you. And that's the reason why when people ask me, hey, do you want to go shopping? And I say, yeah. And then they'll be in the store just come big bank rolls and me. I'm just swiping my debit card. I'm not the type of person I could be sitting heavy in the bank. And you'll never know it because I don't spend like crazy. I don't just have big bank rolls of money on me. It's it's you'll be very lucky. If you catch more than, I want to say, $40 cash in my pocket, you will be the luckiest person ever. Um, But you would never sit and hear me boasting about what I plan to do, uh, what I plan to get, all this stuff. Like, I just, I'm just the type of person where I sit back and show you what I could do. Um, I do have a best friend. I tell her everything. Not in a boasting way. I just tell her my plans. Like, I plan to do this. I plan to get this. I plan. And and the reason why I tell her that, because she always bring it back to me. Like, how are you going to get this? What is your plans or your steps to getting your to your goal? And that's the reason why I keep those people around, because they keep you humble. And they keep you in your clear state of mind. Um, and I feel like you shouldn't share every single move that you and your significant other is making. Because when I was with someone, and it was like right after, no, right before I got in 11th grade. I was with someone, um, and we was good together, but... Yeah, she went into the army. That's a whole story. But I feel like we made moves together. We made silent moves together. Like we got a house together. Um, We'll never like tell people, hey, we finna get a house. Because I always felt like you tell people certain stuff. It's something that's going to sit it back because you're, you went out bragging about it. And prime example, I went... Looking for a job like a couple of weeks back, a whole couple of weeks back. I'm gonna say, go ahead and I'm gonna say a month back. And I'm like, hey, I got this. I'm going to this interview. They get paid, blah, blah, blah. I was so happy because I found a job that I didn't need to go back to school for. And they paid for my degree, which is amazing. But a couple of weeks uh, back, it was a couple of weeks back. I got a call and they told me that they canceled the position because they was closing their business. So, I'm like, that's the reason why now I never brag about anything I have because you never know what'll come up. And 
I just never brag about it. I, I don't tell people how much I make because I feel like this bragging. I don't tell people my next move. I bring it up, but it's not directly my next move. I tell you my goal, but I don't tell you the moves or how I get to that goal. And I do that because I know it is going to, a day going to come where my goals are coming true. So, yeah, these steps are for me to know and the goals are for me to set and to achieve. And me achieving that goal is the way you get to see me. You get what I'm saying? Another thing that I hate that most people do, they go on Facebook a lot of times and when they're mad at their partner, they post jokes about their partner or they they start confessing um confessing what they have to say um like if they did something wrong or something, they always go straight to Facebook and they confess it to Facebook on live on a little short story thing. I'm like, "Okay, where your partner come in? Tell your partner what you doing. If you want to go out and kiss a female, what your partner say first? Because when people come and tell me stories or ask me for my advice, I'm say, did you talk it over with your partner? What did they think about it? Because I'm the type of person, if I feel a certain way and I feel like I can't talk to you about it, then I don't need to be with you. And I feel like some people be with people and they can't talk to these people but then they go talk to their best friend. I am guilty of this because back in the day, I was quick to talk to my best friend about the way I was feeling about my significant other. But now, it's like I keep a lot of things to myself. And and I know sometimes I need to stop doing it. But I try to keep things to myself to stop all of the, the, the miscommunication, the dysfunctionist. And yeah, no, I made that word up, but I just, I'm trying to stay away from the drama. Because, like I told you guys in, in my medical video, I, re, I can't get stressed. And I feel like lately I've been trying to dodge certain situations so I won't become stressed. Because if I feel stressed, I'm going to stress you the hell out, okay? So... That's just my little advice. If you don't learn anything else from this video, just learn how to communicate the way you feel with your partner. Um, Treat your relationship like you would if you was married to this person. If you want to make a big move and you think it's going to affect your relationship negative, talk to your partner about it first. Like, some things should be private. Some things need to be seen in public. Like, for instance, I feel like this. If me and my partner fighting at home, when I get around my family and friends, you'll never know it, okay? And I feel like you'll never know it because I feel like when your family find out, they look at your partner in a negative light. And I never want to do that. I always want my family to give whoever I'm with a positive chance, a good chance, a... Uh, to like get to know them for themselves and um yeah move forward from there now how i feel for my partner i don't want that to rub off on my parents like you treated my daughter like this i don't like you like i don't want nobody to feel that way but anyways with that being said i'm going to end this video i hope you guys like this video let me know some things some more things you think that shouldn't be on social media about your relationship and let me know in the comment section below. Um, I am thinking about doing like um comment of the day of the day, something like that, or coming something. I'm gonna come up with it, but it's coming. So if you leave a comment on any of my videos, just notice in um in my next video you possibly will see your um your comment, okay. But anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of those things because they will truly help your girl out. And we are growing, so I am super excited. If this is your first time joining, thank you. How you doing? Where you from? But anyways, yes. So with that being said, 
Always remember, self-love is the best love. Your love is the most important in the whole wide world. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be blessed, guys.